So um, to kick off, I'm going to run you through some of the key findings of our latest uh, big data survey. So as I said, this is a, a we have to have an annual look at the subject of big data, um, and we ask our readers to um, answer some uh, some sort of questions uh, on, on on this topic. Um, it's a quarterly um, survey, so we've uh, we've done this sort of run this over um, about sort of six weeks um, over around sort of March and April time, um, and it really sort of aim is to give you sort of a snapshot um, of what the telecoms industry uh, is thinking about. Obviously, we we're in a room of people interested with big data, so I should probably point out this is not statistically significant, but nevertheless, the aim is to give you a snapshot of what, pe what people are thinking. Um, so, uh, so it's our third annual year, so we will begin some year-on-year -year trends, which hopefully will be quite interesting. Um, the figures are based on a survey of roughly 100 um, uh, uh, survey respondents. Uh, over 40% of those are operators and 70% of them are from Europe, okay? So, um, to kick off, and I'll read these in case you've got those at the back, can't quite see. Um, one of the main questions we wanted to ask this year for the first time is, do you think the gap between the perceived benefits of big data and the reality is getting bigger? Um, the idea here is, as we talk about the hype cycle and this word big data being just talked about, talked about, what do are, what are people think? So, all respondents, um, Real kind of mixture. 37% think the gap is getting bigger. 37% said no, it's getting smaller. 26% said the gap is the same. So a real kind of mixture of what people are thinking. Remind that that's all respondents. So that's operators, that's uh, analysts, that's the vendor community. When we look at the uh, operators specifically, there's a real difference here. So the majority of operators, 44%, think that the gap between the perceived benefits and the reality is getting bigger. So that's 44% as opposed to 37%. 28% think it's getting smaller, um, roughly the same. 28% uh, versus 20, 26% think it's the same. So again, some sort of differences there, I think, in terms of what the operators and perhaps maybe surprisingly the vendors, there's a bit of a gap there. Um, operators are much more concerned with the sort of benefits between the gap, the gap between the reality and, and the perceived benefits that are being talked about uh, is, is bigger. Uh, so we'll do a year-on-year -year trends now. So this was last year. Is big data a strategic goal in your organization currently? Um, again, so this is just operators. 42% said yes, 44% uh, said, said no, and 14% uh, weren't sure. Uh, so this year, again, uh, interesting, big, uh, big change. 62% now say that big data is a strategic goal uh, in their company. Um, so there, again, I think we can see that although it's being talked about and they are worried, they're still nevertheless making this an important priority increasingly uh, in their businesses. Um, so 21% said no, again that's basically half of what said uh, it wasn't a strategic goal uh, last year, 17% um, this year uh, said no, no. Uh, new question we asked uh, again this year, again just operators, does your organisation have a defined set of business objectives for big data? Really interesting split there, half and half, 50 versus 50. Um, you know, we talk about this again quite a lot. Big data, obviously, big, hard, wide, you know, hyped up term. It's not going to succeed. We don't suggest if you do not operate, do not have a defined set of business objectives. So, a worrying start, I would suggest there that only half do. Uh, again, when we talk about big data, what we like to do is kind of split it between internal and external processes. So, internally, it's just looking, as the name suggests, just internally at the networks. Um, the operators have and working out how that can maybe improve um, their customers' uh, experience and what have you. But everything is just internally focused. The other way we look at it is external. So that is when operators start to sell the data or at least use the data to give to third parties to work with them um, on uh, new, creating new revenue streams, for example. So internally first, we asked, has the introduction of big data strategies resulted in any meaningful improvement in customer experience measurements? A really kind of key topic. Um, 54% yes, 23% said yes significantly, 23% said uh, no, uh, there hasn't been a change. Um, but I think this again this is kind of promising. Really 77% said yes, there has been a meaningful improvement in customer experience measurement. Customer experience, and um, we look at big data, really kind of key uh, point uh, of uh, strategies really. Um, it's a really sort of obvious one I guess, but it's clearly, you know, it's working, okay? So we're saying they might not be able to work out exactly if they've got a business strategy behind it, whatever. 77% are saying that it is making a difference, okay, to the customer experience, which is, uh, which is certainly encouraging. Internally, again, we asked, has the introduction of big data strategies resulted in any meaningful cost savings? Another key point. 
34% said yes, 14% said no, 52% uh, weren't sure. Again, I guess a bit of a, uh, for those who are not working in the finance department, possibly understandable, but the, that amount don't know. Um, but again, I think kind of quite promising, 34%, you know, certainly more than doubled said no. I think that big day strategies are resulting in meaningful cost savings. Again, a couple of new questions we asked. Um, uh, sorry, this is not a new question, apologies. Um, one of the other key points we asked uh, is about the staff. Um, key problem uh, with operators versus the more natural data companies, uh, we think of the Googles and the Facebooks, is they don't have the staff, the right people in place to either you know, really kind of analyze, I guess is the key point here, analyze the big data that they're collecting. Um, do you feel we have the right number and quality of staff in place to manage and exploit data you possess against just operator respondents? 72% no. 72% no. 28% said yes. Um, again, that's an increase on last year. 6% um, uh, more this year said they don't. So again, we see this third year we've done it. It's an increasing trend. Every year, uh, operators are saying they don't have, increasing numbers are saying they do not have the right number and quality of staff in place to exploit big data. Uh, we then asked um, around some of the specific roles. Um, we asked who really is in charge of the big data strategy, so specifically. Um, there's a real mix. It's basically between the CTO and the CIO, perhaps unsurprisingly. This year we asked a new one around the chief data officer, um, an interesting uh, role, again, kind of talked about a lot. 20% of operators said they do have a CDO and is in charge of big data strategies. They might not be called a CDO specifically, but they have a senior um, person in, in, in the operator who is in charge of big, big data strategies. But we thought this was interesting. We said, if your organization does not have a chief data officer, would you like this role to be created? 61% said yes. 14% said no. 25% not, not an opinion. So again, it's, there is a sort of a, clearly a, a need and a wish at operators to have someone at a very, very senior level who is in charge of this data. Um, obviously, the sort of slight problems here, and we're going to sort of uh, you know, talk about this during the seminar, is because big data touches so many different areas of the business, um, it's, it, there is a little bit of a power struggle, we suggest, in some of the operators in that actually who's in charge. Perhaps if you have a CDO in charge, that would help to, to make that bridge between the different departments. But again, we'll, we'll talk about that uh, during the seminar. Um, finally, um, the question of security and privacy, again, an obvious one to ask. Um, to what extent have security and privacy issues stymied the development of your big data strategy over the past 12 months? 48% a little, 34% significantly, 18% no change. But again, 82% are saying that security and privacy issues, whether it's from Snowden, uh, whether it's from having some of their data uh, actually compromised, um, it's, or regulation, whatever it might be, 82% are saying that it's stymieing the development of big data strategies. Um, very kind of key, key point, which again, I know we're going to, we're going to touch on there. Um, again, and that's just, uh, that's just operator only. Um, that's just a sort of some of the, a quick run through of some of the key findings. Um, if you haven't picked up a copy of our latest issue, which is scattered around the room, um, there is all the data in there, so much more than I've just given through here with some analysis, um, and uh, again, do, do have to take that away and have, have a read through.